Hey everyone, Chris for Stream Elements here, and today we're going to be talking about OBS V23, how it improves all in one streaming with an updated NVENC engine, as well as optimizing it for your streams. Stay with me. So the guys at NVIDIA decided to work directly with the OBS development team to release a new version of OBS that will improve the NVENC engine on there. So it will be reduced load on your system for improved FPS performance in your games. But more importantly, it's going to make your streaming also work better as a result. And if you're a user of an RTX graphics card, this also means that the updated NVENC chip on those cards will also net you uh, stream quality roughly equivalent to CPU intensive X264 encoding at the medium preset, which is amazing for hardware encoding and amazing for anyone looking to just use one computer to stream everything. So today we're going to go over the settings that you need to take advantage of this with OBS V23 in OBS Studio slash OBS Live. So let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so here we are at the desktop. We're going to pull OBS right into here. As you can see, I got my OBS Live Windows going. And so I'm going to go into Settings. And once we're in Settings, you, we, we want to check, uh, we're going to check Output. So Output, you're going to switch Output Mode over to Advanced. And then you're going to make sure that it says NVENC H.264 New. That will ensure you're on the newest uh, H.264 and VANC encoder that is part of the OBS V23 update. Rate control, we're going to put the CBR. Bitrate is, uh, good, let's say, no more than three-fourths of your total internet upload speed. I have 10 megs up, so I'm just going to go ahead and set it at 5,500. Keyframe interval. For YouTube and Twitch, I know that that needs to be two. So go ahead and set that to two. And then we're going to put the preset to max quality. So the profile, we're going to leave it on high. Look ahead, we're going to leave that unchecked. And then cycle visual tuning, we're going to leave that checked. GPU zero just means that it's going to be using your primary GPU, which probably is the only GPU in your system. So leave that alone. And max B frames to two. Now this is actually kind of a, uh, a sort of bandwidth intensive setting. So you, two is the best balance there. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that at two. Go ahead and apply that. Then let's go on over to your video section. In the video section, you set your base canvas resolution to the resolution of your monitor, if it's a 1080p monitor. Otherwise, it's set it to the resolution of the games that you're going to be streaming. Ideally, um, I'm just assuming here, but most people are going to be on 1080p, so I'm setting this to 1080p. And a good streaming resolution that is not going to hit your system very hard, still look smooth and still look good is 720p 60 FPS. So the output scaled resolution determines what Twitch or YouTube or whatever service that you're streaming to is going to receive and show to everyone. So we're going to put that to 1280 by 720. The downscale filter is going to be Laxos and then the common SPF, common FPS values. We're just going to put that to 60. So something you guys can't forget to do is make sure you put your stream key. So depending on the service that you use, YouTube or Twitch or anything like that, you want to go ahead and put that there. Something that's really cool about the new update is you can actually connect your account directly. But for the sake of simplicity, we're going to use it the normal method and, and use the stream key. And what's really awesome is if you have a if you set it as stream key you have this option to click the link and it will take you directly to the site for you to pull the stream key and paste into here which i think is really cool it's a nice new feature and i know it works for in obs here to that link page works for twitch and youtube so as you can see the obs v23 configuration to take advantage of the new nvenc is actually really simple to get up and running really nice stuff so that's a tutorial for you guys. Hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully this is something that will help you guys out in your stream. You no longer need a second computer to do great quality all-in-one streaming. And with Stream Elements tools, you have everything together all in one package. With OBS Live, you have your chat feed, your, uh, your media control, your activity feed, everything integrated. And now the updated bonus of a better NVIDIA encoding engine for hardware encoding. It's awesome. It is a great time to be a streamer right now. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe. There's always more coming. And then if you guys need any other support, feel free to join the, the Stream Elements Discord. Everything will be linked in the description below. Make sure you follow Stream Elements on Twitter, 
everywhere that, that, that you can, especially just join the Discord. They have great help and will help 24 seven all the time very quickly. So make sure you guys check that out and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.